Hey folks, so I'm coming by with a little question. Surgery. It's a very serious step for you to take in your body, in your transformation journey, and all of that, right? As well as a pretty big step in your financial um, decision. So, my question to you is, why do you take just anybody or everybody's advice or take just any comment that you read on Instagram as law, as Bible, as this is the truth. I want to tell you that most of the time, people present themselves on social media in a way that they want to be presented, in a way that they want you to perceive them, right? That doesn't always mean that that is that person's actual character or that they have the substance to make a decision for themselves or even for you um so i'm wondering have you ever met somebody online whether it be a dating situation a friend situation a surgery sister situation a recovery house a coordinator a surgeon a friend anything right where you've met somebody online and you've interacted with them for a long period of time and then when you meet them, they're completely not your type or completely not your speed, not your energy, not what you expected, not what you thought, and you're not clicking with that person or vibing with that person as well as you did on the phone or as well as you did when, you know, you were just online and just engaging, you know what I mean? Or did you ever get along with somebody really well personality-wise and then meet the person and either their hygiene or their way of being or their way of treating others or their way of publicly projecting themselves was ugly to you and you didn't want a part of it things happen so my point is if you're using social media if you're using instagram real self if you're using any type of social media platform for your actual decision making like advice and guidance i really really urge you to seek somewhere else seek multiple um, sources of information seek your opinions from multiple places prior to um, making a decision not everybody that comes to a recovery house or makes the same choices as you whether it's a surgeon a doctor um, a procedure an outfit a color a fashion style right just because they have something in common with you doesn't mean that your likes or your needs aligned right or that you guys are in the same like you guys have the same opinion or same whatever right and so those are things that you so those are things that you really 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 want to be thinking about those are things that you don't want to ignore those are things that you want to keep in mind when it comes to actually listening to somebody's opinion and taking it when it comes to something so intimate so vulnerable so invasive and serious when it comes to yourself I am one of the biggest um, proponents in really advocating for yourself and making sure that you make the right decisions, that you make the right choices, and that you get the right information. And with getting the right information, you have to understand that opinions, they're like problems. Everybody has them, you know? And so just because somebody's opinion of something is good doesn't mean that it may be yours. Um, you need to make sure that people's opinions are not biased, that people's opinions are not based on emotion, that people's opinions are not based on disappointment. Um, all that stuff and that you're really dealing with health facts for yourself because ultimately at the end of the day you know you're going to push your life on somebody else's table and yeah, you really want to make sure that you're not making decisions based on instagram i mean honestly you want to make sure that you know if something happens to you that people can't say god forbid you know she didn't do her research she didn't really look into it why did she go to this doctor you know, so many of the girls that I meet um, that are not involved, that don't know about the surgery sister community, that don't know about this underground plastic surgery social media world that exists, right, that's full of so much information. I get quotes from people wanting to go to some of the most popular doctors for botchings all the time. And it's because they read in some group or they saw a picture somewhere and they're thinking this person's great and this person's fabulous. And when you go to that person's profile, they're not telling you about the bad stuff. They're only telling you what they want you to perceive, what they want you to see, what they want you to believe, how they want you to feel. So things for you to really, really think about. Don't let Instagram be a decision maker. 
equally i really urge you to to research your coordinators you know get opinions about your coordinators or your coordinators that people are they people that show their face number one or are they hiding behind a business name are they people that are known do they have relationships with the surgeon do they come out to the clinic at least once every 90 days are they do you have pictures of them with the surgeons do you see them involved in the community those are all really important things to think about number two wanting to understand is this person an exclusive coordinator for this doctor so they coordinate across the board is there some type of bias with this coordinator is there some type of you know um preferential you know referral system happening when it comes to you know that coordinator and then also understanding that your coordinator is somebody that's going to set up your services and is going to be there for you and is there to provide support for you and all those types of things and you know they will make sure that you're in a good place and taken care of however so you should keep in mind that if you have a coordinator for example like myself that is also a recovery home owner you should not have the expectation that your you know your recovery home owner will be there all the time or that your coordinator will be there all the time because 99 percent of the time coordinators are not medical professionals or they're not nurses they're not doctors and they have a higher team of people that are there to dedicate time to you. And so once you're here and your services are coordinated, you really need to be in a really good recovery home. And this is why I say you need to work with people of good integrity. You need to work with people that are known, that are movers and shakers in this industry, not people that pop up once every three or four months with four or five people. You need somebody that's consistent, that's doing this, that knows how to move around, and that can really assist you. And make sure that you go to a recovery home that not that's perfect but that can really really assist you and attend to you because nowhere is going to be perfect everybody is human things run the way they run right but the idea is to make sure that you're cared for sorry about that i was getting my massage and my phone died so but the idea is right to make sure that you're cared for now another thing that the girls in our chat group were just talking about right now that i want to touch on really quickly before i end this video is social media right Look at what happens on social media. You've got people doing all kinds of stuff everywhere, right? And so it's all about perception. It's all about what people want to make you believe, what people want to put up so that you can see. And there's so much in the background that you don't know about. So one of the things we were talking about really quickly was the fact that so many surgeons have Photoshopped pictures posted, you know, whether it be Mexico, Colombia, the Dominican Republic in general, one of the things you guys have to keep in mind is that nine times out of 10, the surgeons only have access to the patients in the 10 to 12 days or 14 days that they're in recovery, immediately post-op and those 14 days after. Once you go home, we like barely have control of the content. You know what I'm saying? Um, so a lot of times, and this is talking about good surgeons, ethical surgeons, honest surgeons. Um, most times what will end up happening is we receive pictures from patients who have gone out on a Friday night, have gone out on a Saturday night. They feel like they look amazing. They feel like they're so happy with their results and they send this picture in. Happy birthday, happy whatever. What happens with us is that we don't know, does that picture have a filter on it? Does that picture have, you know, something, has it been photoshopped? Is your waist not that small? Are you wearing three waist trainers and, and stuff under your garment? Those are things that we don't know. But most of the time, if the results look good, right, the surgeon will post it without, uh, without prejudice. And so those are things that you want to keep in mind. This video is really about making sure that you understand that social media is big, it's wide, it's vast. There's a lot of information, but you have to have discretion when using it. Please make sure there's nothing like a professional, nothing like somebody that does this for a living. No matter how many Facebook groups you've been in, no matter how many conversations with people, with patients, no matter how many times you've helped others through their process, if you're not a professional in this industry, if you don't really know the inner workings of it, if you don't know about medical tourism, about being in another country, another language, other cultures, um, and, and all types of stuff, you know, you really can't substitute the professional for somebody online randomly. And you want to really make sure that when you find that professional, it's somebody with a good reputation. Um, please don't risk your health. Don't risk your safety just because you have such a burning desire. We can definitely make that happen. We just gotta get you to the right people, the right places, and um, make sure that you're good to go. But right now, I'm in a great place, so I'm gonna go. But I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Make sure that you hit that bell, like and subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned with us. We have so much happening, and we've got a new journey that's coming up, so we can't wait to share it with you. You guys, stay tuned, bye.